Well, hello Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and this is your weekly reading for May 10th through 16th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in, and if you're returning, welcome back, and I'm truly grateful for all of you and your wonderful energy. So just a reminder, this is a general and an intuitive reading, not a one-on-one, -on -one. so not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Just take the parts of the reading that apply to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go here. Messages, please, for Pisces. What do we need to know most? Thank you very much. About the week ahead, we've got cleansing waters coming out for you first. And one more message for Pisces, please. What else do we need to know for the week ahead, please? Thank you very much. And we have vast vistas. I love that energy. All right. So cleansing waters coming out first. Purification activates vibrant life force. So some of you Pisces, you may want to connect with water. Water is very spiritual and water is also very connected with your emotions. All right. So it feels as though you may, uh, whether you live near an ocean, a lake, a pond, even a big splashy puddle. All right. You may want to, uh, to try and connect somehow with nature, with some water there. All right. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, uh, energy when we do that okay and it feels as though you know spirits looking looking to ask you to cleanse your energy all right so pure your energy so it's like even if you can't get near a body of water you can have like an energy cleansing shower visualize the white light that's uh, surrounding you there okay um spirit also wants you to um you know, ground your energy, okay, um, especially if you're feeling like a little bit off kilter, all right, um, you may come home from work at the end of the day, and you just might feel tired and drained, okay, you might be dealing with some energy vampires, all right, some of you, you may certainly be um, empaths as well, okay, and you know, certainly uh, you feel other people's energy very deeply, so it really does have a uh, effect on you, all right, so spirit wants you to cleanse your own energy, ground your own energy, all right, and if you see how peaceful uh, that uh, that figure in that card looks, okay, it's just like, ah, all right, a little bit of self-care goes a very long way. So beautiful time to cleanse your energy, but also cleanse your space as well. Okay, do a little bit of spring cleaning. We always feel better when we declutter our environment, okay, but it's also out with the old, in with the new, old uh, ways of thinking, okay, embracing the new you, right, the new vibrant you, and it's a perfect time to do that. Um, now, we do have vast vistas coming out next. Now, this week we do on May 11th or 12th, depending on where you are in the world, we do have a new moon in Taurus, and this is a perfect time to listen to your in, uh, your intuition, okay, and to dream about your new reality. What is it that you want to create for, for yourself? What is the life that you want for yourself, all right, and it's a perfect time to you know, make those exciting changes. And when we have vast vistas here, this is an expansion energy. The world around you is infinitely abundant. There's a lot of opportunities out there for you. So expand your horizons there. If you're looking for a job, all right, if you're pigeonholing yourself, think outside the box, expand into other industries, other um, job search engines, right? There's all sorts of ways you can do that. Look for different kind of positions. They may be called something different, right? Um, if you have a passion, at, um, something that you wanted to do when you were younger, it feels that you have some experience under your belt, some transferable skills, okay? And you can apply those skills anywhere that you want, all right? So no matter what your area of your life here, expand your energy, expand those horizons there, okay? And look for the plethora of, um, of um exciting opportunities that are around you because this is a very exciting time for you to make positive change into your life all right so let's get your overall energy for your reading so current energy current situation here what do we have please for pisces current energy thank you very much ah and we have third eye chakra okay there is that vision of your reality right what are you trying to create let's have a look at the energy coming towards you Whoa, okay, thank you. We have the Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success, and we also have Solar Plexus Chakra. All right, so Triumph and Success, that's the Ace of Swords, and then Solar Plexus Chakra. Advice from Spirit, please, for Pisces. What else? advice from Spirit, please? Thank you. Oh, okay, and two. Aha, uh -huh. we have Trapped in Fear, okay, the Eight of Swords energy, and we also have Conflict and defeat, mm-hmm, 
Yep, not surprised. Do what scares you people. All right, and let's see your outcome energy from Spirit. Thank you very much. Aha. And then we have the Magician. Okay, so manifestation energy. Whatever, whatever you're envisioning with your third eye, you have the ability to create your own reality, okay? And put your vision into reality with that. So just so you know here, I'm just going to pull um, your overall energy here, okay? And then I'm going to clarify for career and for um, relationships, okay? And for love. Um, it's a little bit similar to what I do in the dailies, okay? But uh, I also used to do this for the weekly. So just switching it up here over at the moon just a little bit, all right? So we've got your third eye chakra. So make sure this is open. Some of you are really, really tapping into your personal vision. All right. And when we have our third eye, that is our visual center, right? And that is our imagination. What is it you imagine? What kind of life do you imagine right now? Okay. What kind of job do you want? What kind of love do you want? What improvements do you want in your life? Okay. And this is, you know, really the start of it. Okay. Envisioning that. Okay. And, you know, this is, you know, some people say, well, you know, I don't know how to visualize. Well, everyone has an imagination, all right? And when we have that third eye, that is really our imagination, right? So, you know, um, it's as easy sometimes as closing your eyes and just, you know, if you, if you want to practice uh, opening your third eye and practice um, uh, visualization, um, one of the great, one of the easiest ways to start okay, is to picture, say, a room that you're really familiar with, um, say your bedroom, okay, and, you know, uh, so take like kind of like a little snapshot picture in your mind's eye of your bedroom, right, and then go into a different room, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and then recreate the image of your bedroom, okay, something that you're very familiar with, right, know where, you know, your rug is, or know where your, your uh, nightstand is, what is in your nightstand drawer, okay, all those items and objects, it's a great way to practice opening your, um, you know, opening your visualization center, right, and, you know, you don't have to start with, you know, massive grand scheme of something, right, it's really just um, kind of like recreating uh, a room, Okay, as easy as room or your desk. Okay, your work your work desk, right? You can start there. All right, and it's a perfect way to start practicing that visualization, right? Everyone gets it's a little bit daunting to people and like, oh, I can't visualize, I can't meditate. Well, you know, meditation and visualization isn't about being good at it. Okay, but um, some people just uh, some people are better at it than others. For some people it comes naturally, but you can always expand that as well by having a deep knowing, right? Of knowing where you want to go, what you want to do. All right, so whatever it is that you visualize. And the third eye, the third eye, the uh, keyword for that is I see. Okay, but now we have the solar plexus and we have triumphant success. That's that ace of swords, okay? And the solar plexus is about I can, okay? So first you see your vision and then you can put it into reality here, okay? Um, and when we have triumphant success, all right, that's uh, an ace of swords, okay? So this is your, um, you know, this is your victory, okay? Your good karma, an epiphany moment, seeing things clearly, all right, knowing what you want and then taking swift, bold action to put your dreams into reality there, okay? So, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the swords is all about your thoughts, okay? So you're putting your thoughts into reality, creating your vision out of your dreams. For some of you, this is an epiphany moment, all right? And you just have that spark, okay, that flash, and you're like, oh my God, I see my way forward. Now I know. And when we've got the, the solar plexus here, okay, that is where, that's your power center, okay? That's right down there in your gut. And this is where you can, this is where your self-confidence lives, all right? This is where your willpower is, your drive, your determination, all right? And spirit's really got some sort of flash of um, epiphany moment here. It's some clarity, some sense of purpose. It's like, now I see, now I understand. Okay. And, you know, to keep both of these chakras open and balanced, okay. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, yoga, meditation, right? Practice those visualizations. All right. And, you know, really kind of connect with yourself and your power center there. And again, you know, doing yoga and stuff like that, you know, 
um, yoga, there's multiple different kinds of yoga, right? Some people are like, oh my God, I'm not bendy. You don't have to be bendy to practice yoga because there's, um, there's, you know, the physical yoga, right? And of doing the stretches and the exercise, but then there's the other type of yoga where really it's those yogis. Okay. Those yogi masters that are out there, they're not actually doing anything. <laughs> they're just sitting there. Okay. And it looks like they're just sitting there. There's a lot going on inside kind of. All right. But it's really just about being, and, you know, so, um, there's multiple different kinds of that, but it's just about being and connecting really, and it doesn't need to be super difficult. So, you know, take the fluff out of all of that. Right. And, you know, just really just be, and just be one with yourself and the universe and your mind and your desires and your visions. Okay. And, you know, it really is kind of a cleansing, but we've got, okay, okay, cleansing waters. All right. Something to balance yourself out there. All right. But there is certainly some sort of spark of inf inspiration there. You see the truth, the vision of where you want to go and what you want to do. Your advice from spirit here. Mm hmm. Get clear. Okay, conflict and defeat, that's the five of swords energy, right? It can be a win at all costs energy, but it can also be about inner conflict, all right? And spirit wants you to see clearly and, and know what you want and then take steps to get it. Trapped in fear, that's that eight of swords energy, self-imposed restriction, okay? Being afraid, being too much in your comfort zone. Spirit wants you to get out of your comfort zone. Try something new, try something different, right? create a different reality for yourself, clear out anything that's not working for you, right? Um, release yourself from feeling trapped, from feeling um, restricted, all right? But get that clarity, okay? That, um, uh, you know, with um, conflict and defeat, speak your mind, speak up for yourself, see your, see your vision clearly, okay? Um, really come into alignment with yourself and speak your truth, Speak your truth to yourself, to the universe, to other people, all right? And really, really get yourself in alignment there. And if you look, all of these energies here are getting you in alignment because your outcome energy is the magician, okay? Awareness, harnessing the powers of the universe, being very focused, being, resor being very resourceful. Um, when we have the magician, what you think about, you bring about. So, you know, spirit wants you to see your vision clearly, okay? Um, see the truth of what you want. Get your thoughts in alignment. Have that epiphany moment, okay? Really understand how powerful you are with your solar plexus. Know that you can accomplish anything. Get out of your comfort zone, all right? Speak your truth, okay? Understand clearly exactly what it is you want. Be all in alignment and all positive, all right? Because you have this ability now. It's a very magical time around you. You're very focused and, you know, you... You may not be 100% aware of exactly how much in control of your life you are and how much power you possess within you and spirits really leading up, leading you up to that, okay, to that reminder and to that energy. So now is the time for you, okay, especially this new moon that's coming up. This is the time to set your intentions. So, you know, you've still got a few days, right? Go within, okay, take a bubble bath. All right, put on some noise canceling headphones and take 10 minutes and have a bubble bath and think about things, right? Um, you know, uh, extract yourself from a noisy situation, perhaps even going for a walk, okay, can help clear your mind, clear your head. But spirit's really trying to give you some help here, okay, because there's some great things on your horizon. So let's clarify these energies for your career. Clarify the third eye for Pisces, please. What do we need to know about career? Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. What are you wishing for? What are you hoping for? All right. See your vision clearly because the nine of cups is your wish fulfillment energy. Okay. You are living in this energy right now. Okay. So you really do need to believe that you have the ability to make all of your wishes and dreams come true here. Such a powerful energy. It's like you are envisioning your perfect reality here, right? So you have all this power to make your dreams come true. Some of you right now are living your dream. You're living your best life, okay? And others of you are calling it in. You're certainly visualizing it there, okay? So remember to stay positive, stay focused, okay? And it just, wow, very, very positive energy. You may be, um, you know, you may be working on some creative project in your workplace, right? And you might be a visionary in your field. Maybe no one understands you, all right? And you're like, oh, you know, maybe you need to work in an environment where people actually get you and get your innovation and your ideas and allow you to just create, 
um, because it just feels as though you have some very unique gifts and talents that other people don't have. All right. And you're very, very imaginative. All right. So, you know, some of you, you might be you might be living that dream right now, okay? And I feel others are calling it in. You're trying to make positive change in your life to live your best life, to live your dream. And again, be allowed to use your imagination and your creativity, okay, to, um, you know, to do things that no one else can, all right? So you may be looking to level up in your, in your uh, current workplace or you're looking to start something brand new, okay? But your wishes certainly are here on the precipice for you if you're not already living it. So let's see energy coming towards you. Thank you very much. A new job on the horizon there. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So when we've got the Knight, this is coming towards you. I feel as though there's an opportunity headed your way that is something that... Um, or is really in alignment with your wishes and dreams, right? But something that puts you on that path to success, something that you can commit to for the long term. And when we have that Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's it's not an entry level position, okay? It might be like, you know, um, it might be like uh, entry level management, supervisory, okay? But it could also just be something that, um, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have an energy of working with a team, although it certainly could be. You may actually be leading a team of people, right? Everyone has a different workplace, all right? But whatever it is for you, it allows you to be very committed, okay? And it certainly is an energy where there's an opportunity for you to um, commit for the long term, all right? This Knight of Pentacles is um, a slow moving energy. Okay. But it is a long-term commitment energy. Okay. So something that allows you to build your fortune. All right. But it feels as though it's something that you've been hoping for that you've been dreaming for. So for some it's, um, it's a increase a promotion or a raise. All right. But for others, it's a brand new opportunity, whether that's a brand new job. Okay. Or whether that is leveling up where you currently are, but I'm loving that Knight of Pentacles there. All right, let's have a look. Clarify, trapped in fear and conflict and defeat. What else does Spirit want us to know? What other advice, please, for career does Spirit have for us? Thank you. And we have the Six of Swords. Move forward, okay? Drop any, drop any ways of thinking, okay? Anything that's no longer working for you and move forward forward. When we have the six of swords, this is a moving on energy. Okay. But you know, it's, here's the thing. Okay. We've got conflict and defeat, right? Where you're conflicted, where you're not sure what you want. Once you get your thoughts in alignment, once you, once you get that clarity, that sense of purpose, when you know what you will envision, that allows you to move forward. Okay. Leave anything dark, negative and scattered behind you. All right. And move forward into clarity, purpose into something better. All right. So spirit wants some of you to get going for one. Okay. It's like, Hey, figure it out already. I'm here. There's help, help coming on in here for you. There's new opportunities on your horizon. So spirit wants to give you a little bit of a proverbial kick in the butt there. Okay. To get you going. All right. But spirit's also saying for some of you, it's time to move forward from a situation. Okay. Um, for some of you, there's something better on the horizon. All right. And you know, spirit really does want you to um, make a decision, stick with it. Okay. And to move forward into something new if you choose. All right. But there is something better coming in here for you, whatever that happens to be. For some of you, it can be a conclusion of a project that you've been working on and that allows you to start something new. Okay. You're leveling up. All right. But you're certainly moving forward in this energy. Okay. No matter what. And that's what spirit really wants you to do. The universe always wants to keep us moving. Okay. The universe never wants us to be stuck in one one place for too long. All right. Because it's not healthy, right? We're forever, um, an evolving species, right? And our life is a, is a, the only thing constant in life is change. Okay. And it's what we do with it that really matters. Okay. So really, uh, you know, really getting you moving forward there. All right. So let's clarify this, uh, magician energy, this awareness for, uh, our outcome, please. What else does Pisces need to know about career? Thank you very much. And we have temperance there for you. Okay, so Sagittarian energy. And we also have the Hierophant. And we also have the Knight of Swords. Whoa. Okay, so <laughs> there is an opportunity coming in here on the horizon for you. All right, so 
with temperance, Sagittarius energy here, okay? But this is something that is guided to you, okay? The universe is bringing you a new opportunity, something that is balanced, something that is fair, something that it, uh, is an equal give and take, all right? And sometimes we're in a uh, in a company, in a situation, working for a boss where they continuously pile stuff on us. And it's like, oh my God, like, you know, I'm spending all this time at work and for what? And, you know, but it feel, just feels like there's an opportunity on the horizon for you here to either regain balance in, in your current workplace, okay, or to find something new that is very balanced there, okay? It feels like there may be a little bit more patience that's involved, all right, but you're certainly... Um, you're certainly right on that precipice, okay? So stay positive, stay focused, balance your energies there, okay? Because that temperance energy is one of um, alchemy as well, okay? Mixing mixing fire and water, okay? And that's, you know, um, uh, creates steam, right? So, um, but certainly some spiritual alchemy there, but um, be very patient, be very focused, be very positive, okay? Change is coming and opportunities are coming on the horizon for you, right? Very spiritually guided, all right? And with temperance here, I feel that this is the result of you balancing your chakras, right? Your solar plexus chakra and your third eye there, okay? And that really um, opens up, expands your opportunities there with the Hierophant. We've got Taurus energy here for you, okay? And this is about believing in yourself, okay? It's also about um, not really believing in yourself, but believing in a higher power. Thank you. That's a better, better way to word it. Okay. Um, this is also about gaining knowledge. Okay. So it feels as though you're very focused. Okay. You're very resourceful. You may need a little bit more information. Okay. About a, about a situation or about where you want to go. All right. You certainly have some spiritual guidance some spiritual growth coming in here. And with the higher fan, this is an energy of, um, higher level of commitment. So it feels there's something coming on the way for you that you can be very committed to. Okay. But it also feels so it's something that allows you to dance to the beat of your own drum a little bit to break free from tradition. Okay. Break free from, um, you know, uh, other people's expectations. All right. Temperance is a 14. It breaks down into a five. The Hierophant is a uh, card number five. We also have conflict and defeat, which is a number five as well. Okay. So I feel there's big changes that are coming in here for you and they will bring about balance, peace, um, new opportunities into your life here. And it just feels as though, you know, um, you know, you may need a little bit more information there, but it just feels like spirit is saying here, it's coming. Okay. It's coming. You're very powerful. Be a little bit more patient. Okay. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, you might need to get a little bit more information. All right. But with this Knight of swords, there's communication coming in here for you. Something that, um, you know, requires you to take some sort of bold, inspired action. All right. Something that, um, you know, uh, something that requires you to take the next step. Okay. So, um, you know, so always keep moving forward. Remember what we said, spirit always wants you to move forward. All right. But, you know, I feel there's either you need to put yourself out there and, um, you know, make, take bold steps. Okay. Or take a chance. It feels like it's take a, uh, take a shot in the dark. All right. Um, you know, we do have, uh, think outside the box, expand your horizons. Okay. And with that knight of swords, that's all about swift action. Okay. Um, forward momentum, communication as well. Okay. And there is success behind that so uh, knight of swords energy as well. Okay. So it just feels like, you know, for some of you, there is a message coming in. There's some news coming on in here for you. That's an opportunity that is very balanced. Um, that is part of what you're calling in. Okay. Part of what you're manifesting into your life, something that brings wonderful change into your life, but does require you, um, you know, to make some forward movement. Okay. Take some sort of action. All right. So you might actually need to, with that six of swords, you might, um, if you're currently working right now with that night, okay, this could actually be in a different company. All right. It might not be in your own company. This can be that reminder from spirit to figure out what you want. Okay. And then, you know, there may be some sort of promotion or something. It could even be in a different department or a different division, not even in your own workplace, right? Somewhere else in the, in the company that you work for. All right. But it just requires you to put yourself out there. Okay. And to take those bold steps to move yourself forward. 
All right, so um, beautiful energy coming in for sure. So, you know, certainly um, certainly with that Knight of Pentacles, some sort of financial opportunity there for you, okay? So keep your mind open, okay? Think about clearly what you want, all right? And good news is on the way for you. So let's move into the love section, all right? What do we need to know for love? Clarify our third eye, please, for love and relationships, please. What do we want to know for our current situation there? Thank you. All right. And we have the six of materials. Okay. So for those of you in a relationship right now, okay, it feels as though, you know, there's a lot of balance there. All right. When we have the six of materials, it's the six of pentacles, the law of giving and receiving. And it feels as though you're actually in a very balanced relationship right now. Okay. Um, you know, no one is, there's no power struggle there. Okay. There's that equal give and take. It feels as though, you know, um, it feels as though you and your person contribute equally to your relationship. Okay. And there's an equal investment, um, in your relationship there. Okay. Very, very positive, uh, kind of energy. All right. Um, it also feels as though, Okay, it feels as though, um, you know, even if you overcome some, even if you have obstacles and challenges along the way, it feels as though you have that ability to meet in the middle and compromise with your person. All right. Um, now, I do have to say with the six of materials, okay, the six of pentacles, sometimes this can be um, help from unexpected resources coming in. You may actually have some sort of um, financial help, um, some sort of a little bit of financial windfall. And it doesn't like not necessarily like, you know, like a massive fortune coming in, but it just feels like some unexpected financial relief um, coming here that um, that helps your relationship out. Okay. So um, you know, especially with that nine of cups in your career position. Okay. It could just be that you get some sort of bonus or something along those lines. Okay. That was just unexpected. That kind of, you know, um, helps you and your person out. Okay. And especially if you've got some bills that need to be paid or something for those singles out there. All right. I feel as though you have a lot of balance in your life right now. And it feels as though you are balancing your, your work and your, your work life and your home life. Okay. You're not spending too much time on one or the other. All right. And, you know, um, and you know, again, it feels as though it feels as though the, the person that you're attracting, okay, the new love that you're attracting in, okay, you are looking for that, um, that energy of reciprocation, all right, you are willing to invest, um, you, you want someone that's willing to invest in a relationship just as much as you are, right, you're looking for that healthy balance, and I don't feel as though you're looking to compromise that in any way, shape, or form, right, you're certainly, uh, that's certainly what you may be envisioning there with that third eye, right, it's like, this is what I'm dreaming about, this is what I want, right, I don't want someone who have to babysit, I don't want someone who, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not someone's parent, right, I want, you know, a, a balanced and a healthy relationship, and it feels that's what you're calling in. So let's clarify the energy coming towards you in regards to love. What is this Ace of Swords and the Solar Plexus about, please? Thank you. Oh, beautiful. We've got soulmate energy here. Okay, this is balance, harmony, peace, soul connection. This is love. This is wonderful energy for those of you in a relationship right now. I mean, look at this. We do have two energies of balance and harmony. All right. Loving that energy. So it just feels as though you are on your path. You're on your destined path. Okay. You are ab absolutely creating the uh, reality that you're wishing for, that you're hoping for, right? You're making all of your dreams come true. All right. With the two of emotions here, it's that two of cups energy. I feel, um, you know, I feel that some of you may actually be leveling up in your relationship, okay, um, because it does feel as though there is a, a deeper connection than just love, okay, but it's very, very balanced, um, you know, again, that equal give and take, and that's what that two emotions, um, two of emotions uh, is about as well, that equality, that duality, that balance, that harmony, that peace, it's a beautiful energy. You may be leveling up, getting engaged, getting married, moving in together, um, just, uh, you know, even saying I love you for the first time. All right. Um, you, some of you may actually know this person through your workplace. All right. But, um, uh, but you certainly have a healthy balance in your life. It's a beautiful energy. I feel if you have any arguments or disagreements or obstacles to overcome, again, you are both in it together. It's like diving in with both feet. It's like 
you know, we are both under this water together. It looks like they're underwater, right? And it's like, we're in it, we're in this together. Okay. And it's just that partnership, the beautiful energy for those of you who are single, I feel as though you're calling in a soulmate. All right. There is something coming your way here that, um, you know, really gives you the balance that you desire here. It's soulmate energy. Okay. So calling in that soulmate, calling in that true love, right? Beautiful energy here. Okay. Um, and you know, I gotta say, you know, I'm sorry. I have to say that some of you may be starting a new job or you may have someone coming into your workplace. You may meet this person through your career, through something it has to do with your work. It doesn't have to be necessarily in your same department. All right. But I feel for some of you, especially if you're starting a new job, okay, you may actually meet somebody um, through that avenue, right? It doesn't have to be, but for, I'm feeling the energy for some of you, it might be, okay, it might be tied to your career some way. All right, they may be a, a contractor. You might meet someone on the way to work, right? Maybe where you get your coffee in the morning or something. All right, but um, anyway, beautiful energy nonetheless, calling in that soulmate, beautiful connection. Let's see the advice from spirit in regards to your love life here. What's the advice from spirit in regards to love? Nope, not that one. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. And what do we have here? All right. We have the high priestess and we have the wheel of fortune. Good Lord, you people. Okay. Your ships have come in. All right. Remember that magician energy, what you think about, you bring about. Okay. You are on your destined path here. Keep your vibration high. The wheel of fortune, lady luck is shining down upon you. If you have felt that things have been stagnant, um, that things have been stuck, this is that beautiful shift of energy. Anything that you put your time and energy and attention into right now. Okay. You are on that path to success with that wheel. All right. The high priestess is about trusting your intuition and having that deep knowing of what to do. Okay. And having the understanding that not everything requires a physical outward action or outward movement, right? There's a lot of universal energies working for you behind the scenes to bring you about your soulmate. Okay. Your higher level of commitment, whatever this happens to be for you. All right. And you just have that deep inner knowing. So you're very intuitive. You're very powerful right now. See, we've got third eye highlighted right there in that energy. Okay. Um, you know, and this is the energy to attract everything that you want. Now the high priestess quite often as well is the revealer of secrets and mysteries. Okay. So there may be some, um, some mystery that's being revealed within you. You may be coming into the realization of what you want and where you want to go. Certainly your solar plexus, your third eye, not to mention that, um, ace of swords that we've got there for you. So really do really, um, listen to your intuition. What does your gut tell you? What is it that you vision, um, for your reality? You may reveal something, um, you know, to yourself. Okay. There may also be somebody that reveals something to you. Okay. So make sure you pay attention there. All right. But with that wheel of fortune, oh man, have your ships ever come in here? Okay. So what you think about, you bring about, okay. Stay focused. Okay. Keep your vibration high, stay positive. Okay. And keep dreaming big. Okay. Because this is a beautiful shift in energy there for you. Okay. So an energy of success and good fortune surrounds you in everything that you do. So spirit really wants to, um, you know, remind you of that. Okay. The world is certainly your oyster. So let's have a look. What is the outcome position please here for our beautiful Pisces for clarify that magician. What is the outcome for love? Thank you very much. We have the Knight of Swords, the Muse of Voices. That's the Knight of Swords, or sorry, the King of Swords energy. And, oh, well, there's the, okay. Um, there was a reason I was calling that the Knight of Swords because we have the Knight of Swords coming out the next card. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I feel as though there's someone coming towards you, okay, who knows what they want. The Muse of Voices is the King of Swords energy, the Knight of Voices. There's that Knight of Swords, okay? Two Knight of Swords. A lot of communication headed your way for sure. All right, so remember, whatever intentions you set, that's what you're attracting back, right? But with this Muse of Voices, that relates back to the King of Swords energy. I feel as though there's someone, um, for those singles out there, there's someone coming towards you, that soulmate, okay, who is very, very intuitively connected to you okay very um very much guided to you from the universe but someone who speaks their mind they're a great communicator they know what they want and then once they know what they want they take swift bold action to get it 
okay and it feels like you know they may this may be someone you know i gotta say all right especially with that high priestess there okay because there's some sort of truth coming to light some sort of secret okay something being revealed to you so this could be someone you work with or could be someone that you already know as part of your soul tribe somewhere around there all right someone could even be like a friend of a friend even all right i don't have cards for that that are out but it could be okay but certainly someone who is very powerful very bold and not afraid of taking a risk and not afraid of putting themselves out there okay very um, very much communication um, minded, okay, but certainly one that is very powerful and very knowing um, in where they want to go, okay, and what they want to do, all right? So, um, you know, I feel those of you in a relationship as well, it just feels so you and your person are on the same page, okay? You're having a lot of communication about the future, about um, where you want to go, okay? You may even be making plans, okay, to move your relationship forward, all right? And it just feels like, you know, it just feels like some of you, um, you may have a, a some sort of surprise I'm feeling. I mean, I, again, I don't have a card out here for a surprise, but I do feel with that Knight of Voices energy, not to mention with the High Priestess there, I just feel as though there's something being revealed to you in your relationship that um, you've been hoping for and you've been praying for, but it just kind of takes you off guard a little bit, okay? So it might be like a timing thing, okay? Um, so it could be someone you know, popping the question, you might not be expecting it, they may even, interesting, they may even um, want to elope with you, okay, or they may have a change of heart in something, okay, you, you know, maybe you, you and your person might be trucking along, they may have said that they don't want higher commitment, or they don't want to get married, per se, they may have some strong views upon that, um, but, um, but it just feels that they're, they're just going to surprise you some way that you didn't expect, it's like, they have some clarity, about the situation as well and it just kind of feels as though it just you're both on the same page whatever that is okay so but i do feel there's some sort of happy surprise that's headed your way okay so um very beautiful energy there so i'm going to leave that there for you pisces okay but i'm going to close out your reading with um a couple of angel therapy cards so what else does pisces need to know in their situation please what else does pisces need to know for the week ahead Ooh, that's a lot thank you we have visualized success. <laughs> There's that third eye energy there as well. Okay. And then that one. Thank you. All right. So we have visualized success, right? See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome, right? Sums up your reading right there. That third eye, putting your visions into reality. Now is your time to shine. Okay. And then we have heart chakra as well. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. All right. Really go within, trust your intuition, get everything in alignment there. You have all of that knowledge and that power within you. Okay. So beautiful energy headed your way this week. Okay. So keep your mind open. Okay. Uh, so dream big people dream big. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Hopefully there was something here that resonated with you, gave you some wisdom, inspiration, guidance, okay, whether it was a little bit or the whole damn thing. All right, so I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.